I grew up with like all of my guy friends when I was younger were gay and it was just something that was natural and so when I and it wasn't really accepted in southern Texas uh, in, in the south in Texas and I watched how people would treat them and um, and also I'm just a firm believer in being yourself and accepting yourself for who you are and loving yourself and it always blew my mind that people didn't support the LGBT community. Um, so I told myself when I was younger, you know, use your voice. When you become the singer that you want to be, use your voice for so much more than just music. Speak to your generation and hopefully make as much of a difference as you can in society as you, as you can. The only time that we've ever butt heads was when we play games or like, because we're very competitive. So if we're playing like card games or something, I'll get so heated, I have to walk away. But when it comes to the Thank tour. Thank you. When the tour, no, it's going to be so much fun. Thank you very much. And to be honored by them, me to be honored by that it's such a strange way for it to happen I feel like I need to be giving them an award you know for helping people like me when I was young and 12 I came out I couldn't see anybody on the screen that was anything like me I couldn't find anyone gay it was before the L word it was before I could relate and I felt so alone and I thought I was the only gay person in the world and so because of GLAAD, there were more people on the screen that represented me. And since then, it's become, you know, we have gone so far forward and we have a long way to go, but we are definitely getting there. And tonight means that I'm doing something right. Exciting that Sarah Kate Ellis, the president of GLAD, coalesced the entertainment industry, reached out to Governor Deal, along with great business leaders like Mark Benioff from Salesforce, to really let Georgia know that they would not do business in a discriminatory state. So it's organizations like GLAD, leaders like Sarah Kate Ellis, that are critical for human rights in the United States of America, and we have to keep this fight. We have to keep fighting this fight until once and for all that is the norm. Yes, she will be. Exclusive. Yes, she will be. She will be in season three. Have you already filmed it? And then we're filming it next week. That's exciting. I know, I can't wait. What can you say about I'm it? Nothing. I'm telling you nothing else. That's a lot. It's a dream come true. How'd you make that happen? You call her up and say, hey, come be a part of this? Kind of, yeah. You do yeah. that? We, we're, all, we're all part of the same community. A lot of the uh, trans women who work on our show are also in her show, I Am Kate, Zachary Drucker, um, lots of crossover, lots of friends. I'm uh, super nervous. Uh, the trans, uh, the, my therapist talks about the trans instinct is to hide, is to, that's what I've done my whole life. So I'm going against every grain in my body right now and being in front of these cameras and talking about myself. So. Is this your first big red carpet moment? Yes. It is. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel? Uh, it's, I'm okay. I'm okay. I might pass out. If I do, just get the defibrillator on me.